twisted playground equipment is all that remains at Plaza Towers Elementary. This was the school before the tornado, and this is how it looks now. Terrified students hid in closets, classrooms and bathrooms, clinging to whatever they could. A light went down and it hit me in the head, and all the other girls were screaming and they were crying. At least nine children were killed when the walls and roof collapsed. Many are still missing. Brave teachers risked their lives to save their pupils. I was in a stall with some kids and it just started coming down. So I laid on top of them. One of my little boys just said, he just kept saying, I love you, I love you, please don't die with me, please don't die with me. He was covering me and my friend Zachary. And then she, I told her that we were fine because we were holding on to something. And then she went over to my friend Antonio and covered him. And then, so she saved our lives. Rescuers worked quickly and quietly, listening for the cries of trapped children. It was supposed to be a happy time, the last week of school before their summer vacation. Unfortunately, there was people that lost their lives, little children that lost their lives, and there's no, there's no way that we can understand that. There's no way that we can communicate to the families, to the community, how our heart is breaking with them during this time. Less than a mile away, another school, Briarwood Elementary, also received a direct hit. There were chaotic scenes minutes later. It's believed all the pupils here escaped. A child is comforted, then he spots his mother, and there's overwhelming relief. And with so much lost, people are holding on to whatever they have. Catherine Jones, Five News.